everybody, it's Jeremy here, and I've got a little unboxing here. Uh, I've got an item really early. The brand new Lupin the Third Castle of Cagliostro DVD release from Discotech. Uh, I was originally just going to buy the Blu-ray, and I thought, well, it's only 18 bucks. Uh, you know, in case something happens where there's a delay on the DVD and the Blu-ray, uh, let me get this. And uh, so I thought, hey, you know, I'll grab the uh, grab the DVD. And we're going to do a little unboxing here. It's got, uh, as you saw, a nice, very nice slipcover. Um, it's got the cover art. Um, actually, it's, it's, it's different. Yeah, come through it. It's totally different here. You have, here's the, uh, here are the backs. And you can see different art for each. And then here, here are the covers. Now, I haven't actually checked the, uh, the Cagliostro tumbler. But, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking about that. Yeah, that's right. There, there were different art there. But there was different art for it there. This is a nice cover. Um, I actually have all the Cagliostro DVDs. Let me uh, just move for a second here and grab them because uh, there's a lot. There are a lot of Cagliostro DVDs on the market. And of course, I cannot find them immediately. Oh, here we are. Well, here is uh, here are two of them. I found two of my Cagliostro DVDs. I don't have my third. I actually forgot to grab something to uh, open the package. But uh, here is the UK-only Cagliostro DVD. Here's the last one that uh, Manga put out with that horrible, looks like bad fan art and the Disney copycat uh, design. Uh, of course, two cases, two discs, and a booklet that literally just flew out right as I opened it. I do not want to mess up my Lupin package here. There we are. Wow. Yeah, that was that was needed. And of course, you can see flipper discs, really cheap. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing. And actually, since I've got it here, let's look at the. There's the back of the UK version. Uh, I bought this because it had the manga UK dub. I never actually got to listen to this. Um, I thought I could just swip, swap, swap the uh, name on the drive or the region coding, rather, on my DVD drive on the computer. It would work fine. It didn't. So I wasted like 20 bucks on that. And, well, I'm not going to make that money back, because who's going to buy it now? Because this has the Manga UK dub. Um, I, I don't remember the extras, which... Let's see. What's it say, what's it say with, in terms of extras here? Um, it's got the 92 and 2000 dubs, a family-friendly version of the 2000 dub, a new translation, a new commentary by Reed Nelson of LupinTheThird.com, I'll be listening to that later tonight. Uh, it has the 1980 theatrical subtitle restoration, trailers, the opening and ending collection. Now, I'm actually looking forward to that because I it's beautiful work, but it's always marred by the credits. So this should perhaps solve that problem. And translation notes. Those are always great on these DVDs. Reed does a phenomenal job. Um, let me move the camera up so you can actually see my head here. There we go. That might be bad. As you can see, I need a haircut still. Um, let's see. Okay, I don't have anything to take the uh, top wrapping off, so... Actually, this is the side wrapping. The wrapping itself is hard to get off here. Let me grab, uh, like, some tweezers or something. Let's see. Always keep tweezers nearby for unboxing videos. Let's see. I, gra I use them for, uh... Anything, if I get mail, I'll just pop it open with this. A lot safer than keeping water opener around. Um, yep, nice, nice clear case here. I like that. Um, really good packaging overall. The cats can enjoy that, I'm sure. Now, in just opening it here, because um, I, I can see what's inside. There, I'll, I just want to get this sliced. Make sure it won't tear. You always want to make sure of that because sometimes you get the uh, the cover art and it's it's right above or it's right where the plastic's going to go. I really do wish uh, with DVD really being an archaic format and you know uh, that they would just stop with the with, with the practice of putting. Really, this is this is giving me fits here. This this this. Uh, this tape up top. I don't want to damage my package. The uh, the cover 
the, the slip cover, I should say. Um, I already noticed it's a little damaged, but that's because they shipped it in, of all things, a bubble mailer. So, uh, Discotech hopefully stopped doing that because uh, I know it saves money. I'm a regular eBay shipper, believe me. I'm, I'm used to, uh, you know, doing that if it's, if it's something that is honestly not in a slip cover. I don't think I have ever shipped anything out. There we are, finally. Got it, got it off the front here. Um, because I want to make sure I get this done properly and don't leave any sticker residue because that sticker residue will make it, uh, will make it a little harder to blend the disc in with the collection because it'll just leave stuff on other things. Um, okay, let's, now this is nice. This is really cool, actually. Uh, you can see the disc here. There is the, uh, there's the disc in the, with the, uh, Design of the ring on it. That's beautiful. That's easily the best Kaliostra disc. I actually have the Manga 2000 DVD. I don't have it next to me. It's upstairs. So uh, I'm not going to grab it. Now, if you want the cases to match, if you want the, the, uh, the slip cover and the case to match, you actually have reversible cover art. This is the first time we've had reversible cover art for a Lupin DVD. Um, I, I, I like this. I, I do. I, I'm, I like the default art. I like that we have you know alternative art, if you so desire. I will... Probably be keeping uh, be keeping the art set. I'll be keeping it as it is, because I like the idea of having two different pieces of art to look at that I like, uh, and two different designs. Now Fujiko's fire red hair here. I mean, literally flame red. What a weird, uh, nice design. It's really really cool. Um, I don't remember fire in this movie. <laughs> I guess there was the explosions at the end, uh, which, I mean, if you're if you're buying this DVD, you've probably watched the movie a bunch. Um, I gotta say, 18 bucks. I'm happy with it. Like I left this Disco discotech site for 18 dollars. I was gonna buy it on Amazon. I actually, literally had a pre-order, uh, ready to rock and roll. And I notice here that the disc art—it's not—it's actually too far on the bottom here. And that's going to run the risk of getting damaged. So let me fix that. Okay. Um. Anyway, I am very pleased with my purchase. I, I literally almost. I had this in my cart ready to pre-order, and I had some other items to get it to 35 And uh, I was like, okay, you know, I'll just do that. And I was thinking, eh, you know what? I don't really need the other items. I was getting them, so I'll get this with free shipping. And uh, I decided to just go on Discotech site and buy it instead. And I'm glad I did, because I got it really early. And uh, with Amazon and no longer being a Prime member, I doubt that would occur. Um, I don't know if this DVD is going to affect the, uh, the value of the other ones. Uh, like, even... Even this, like honestly disappointing DVD release. This was, this is the one where they they nixed the uh, the full the full animation for the opening and the ending, or rather the opening. I actually don't know if I ever watched it through the ending. I don't also remember if it has uh, things were was full motion or not. I haven't watched this movie in full in a while, um, and if I do, I just you know, turn it off at the end. Um, but the opening was still frames, and they were very clear. It was easily the best transfer we ever had for Lupin DVD in the U.S. But it was not the definitive release. You know it could be better. It did have a lot of extras, but uh, you know the use of flipper discs really made it feel cheap. Um, in terms of weight, of course, this one being a double disc set uh, does feel heavier. This one looks so much better. Uh, this is, I mean, let's again compare them. You've got this cheap garbage for, uh, for, for manga's release, the last one, in, I think 06 or 05. Now, in each here, the back cover, some plastic on the bottom here that's going to bug me later. Okay, there we go, that's gone. Okay, each of them on the back here keeps that dark blue motif, so that's pretty cool. Um, of course, my uh, cover is, you know, you can see it's a little dinged on the corner there. That's no big deal. It stuck out to me, though, when I posted my photo, so I know it's going to be one of those things that bugs me for a while. This one is in great shape. I, I think I literally watched it once. Um, of course, this is when they were ripping off the Miyazaki releases wholesale. I think I have a Miyazaki release right by here. Um, let's see. No, I, don't, I know I have one. I think I have Nausicaa. I got that for like a few dollars at a thrift store. There we go. Yeah, let's compare. Here's here's the real Miyazaki release that Disney put out with Ghibli. And here's the Castle of Cagliostro knockoff. So, uh, as you can see, they were pretty shameless. And the only difference is this, of course, looks like really well made with gradients and stuff. 
and this looks horrible. This is just white on red, and it, I guess it helps it blend in if you have your your DVDs like literally facing out, which no one on earth ever does. But of course, whatever quality is there is minimized by this horrible flat art. I, I mean, let's let's compare. Uh, the art here, okay, you've got, and this is, I believe, just a screenshot on the cover, but it's so much more vibrant than, than just this, like, tracing, you know, it's so disappointing. And, um, you know, I'm glad to see them go with an original cover art that's great. Uh, this is, I feel like this is, it's worth my 18 bucks, I haven't even, you know, I haven't watched the commentary, it'll be good, Reed's commentaries are always fine. Um, I'm a little disappointed that Michael Toole didn't do one. Uh, maybe he did, and it's just not on the disc. Maybe it's a Blu-ray exclusive. Um, I know that uh, Chris Meadows' commentary, he wanted that to be on the disc. It's not on here. Uh, at least it's not listed. Maybe it's hidden. Maybe it's an Easter egg. I doubt that, seriously. Um, hopefully those things are on the Blu-ray. I mean, I'm not sure if Michael Tool uh, did a commentary for it. I hope he did, because he's great. He's been, it's been fantastic on the last couple of Discotech releases. Um, and, and Chris Meadows' commentary has been redone a lot, and I would love for him to just redo it with one solid uh, set of equipment, because I remember it being kind of shifted a lot uh, between, like, low quality and high quality, and it was kind of jarring. So doing a new one would be phenomenal. Um, if it's for the Blu-ray, if it's just online only, that's fine. I do prefer to have them with the Blu-ray, because then you don't have to, like, worry about syncing it up. You're going to have the audio leveled, so, you know, it, it just makes it easier. Um, but anyway, I mean, if you haven't watched Castle of Cagliostro, it's easily worth $18. It's one of the best animated films you're going to find. Easily the best Lupin movie in terms of being a movie. As a Lupin movie, it's actually not the best Lupin movie because it's just so, uh, it's so, so much softer than most Lupins. Um, and yet there's a, the core is there, so it, it's, you know, it's strange, but it's a fantastic film, and I do recommend anyone own it if you don't already. Um, this is a definitive version. Now, if you just want to buy the Blu-ray, that's fine. Uh, this, I think they put out just to get it out there, gauge interest, and maybe, you know, maybe they'll do a combo pack. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do that already. Um, you know, but they wanted to get this out for the holidays, so I get that. It's phenomenal packaging. It really does deserve to be in a store. I don't know if you can buy this in a store, a physical store. I hope you can. Uh, granted, the anime DVD boom is long gone, but this deserves to be bought. I mean, if you saw this at, like, Walmart, you'd buy it. This looks premium. This looks like a well-made product. I've got all of Discotech's Lupin releases. They're the only thing from Discotech I have. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. I was actually confusing them with Animego due to uh, the film of Conspiracy. Um, yeah, this is the only stuff I have from them is Lupin. And uh, not even the Mega Man show and all that. I don't care. But this is phenomenal. This deserves to be in a store. And hopefully the Blu-ray has everything they wanted. I think they cut out, like, storyboards and stuff. Um, it's a little disappointing that not everything is included. I mean, by its very nature, this is going to have more content. Because it's two discs. They're, they're flippers, so you have, like... Almost a four-disc set in terms of quantity. Um, granted, the discs are horrible. Uh, flippers, really, just make a four-disc set. Um, maybe, you know, the, the Blu-ray, I think, will be the absolute definitive. If you can only get one, get that. But DVD is a fine option. And I, I personally am glad I bought the DVD because the commentary. I, I might be the only one in the world. I doubt it. But um, I'm annoyed when the Blu-rays don't keep your progress. So if I'm watching a DVD commentary and I just fall asleep, right, um, I, I lose my place. And then I'm, you know, I'm all at it. I gotta go rewind it and fast forward it and all that crap. It's just annoying. Uh, it's not the end of the world, of course, but it is one more step that you shouldn't have to take because the Blu-rays can be encoded to just resume. And Fox says that with the uh, Futurama Blu-rays, and uh, I think even I think like the Simpsons movie did, and I haven't watched that Blu-ray in a long time. But uh, I definitely prefer it when, uh, you know, they have that feature, because then it's one more reason to stick with the, uh, the Blu-ray version. Well, that's the longest unboxing video I've done, even longer than the Xbox One, Ouya, PS4, and I think I did one for the Vita, too. Um, yeah, I, I I'm going to really look forward to watching this later, and uh, I recommend that anyone who is a fan of Lupin, check it out. It's a great film, and uh, if you've never watched it, 
Buy it now on discotechmedia.com, amazon.com, maybe bestbuy.com. Do they still sell anime DVDs there? I assume they do. And uh, write stuff, of course. So have a good night, everybody.